Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source for what's happening now in the world of electric cars. Today I'm going to reveal which I believe was the best self-driving technology in 2017. And of course, this is part of my first annual e -word. So if you want to see other categories, there is a list right here in the description of this video. So we're going to start right now. All right, if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. If you're interested in staying up to date with what's happening now in the universe of electric cars, you came to the right place, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, let's get started. Our first nominee, and first let me just tell you about this category. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, but there are quite a few different technologies uh, kind of emerged this year. Of course, uh, a Tesla was leading the way. There were some add-ons technologies. There were some third-party technologies. There were some acquisitions. So let's figure out which one at this point is the best. And our first nominee is Waymo. Now, for those of you guys who are not familiar with this company, they are uh, originally were part of Google. I mean, they still are, but this was originally Google uh, Google's project for self-driving cars. It evolved and evolved. At some point, it almost died. Uh, but now it's uh, this uh, pretty cool company, Waymo. They they make these vans. Well, the vans are equipped with their with their self driving technology, hardware, and software. And uh, at this point, they have launched their very first service uh, in a very small area, and I believe in Arizona, where they deliver customers like packages uh, without anybody in the driver in the driver's seat. Instead, there is an employee uh, in the seat next to them, but the car is driving itself and it is out there and it's happening. So this is pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Now, the picture that you see here is I took it myself. It's it was here on the streets in Silicon Valley. We see them here all the time. They're testing them all, all day long, really. So this is uh, pretty exciting. This technology has come a long way from many years ago when it was launched at Google. All right, the second nominee is uh, Cruise Automation. The reason you see the picture of Chevy Bolt here is because Cruise Automation was bought by Chevrolet and they kind of married the two together. So this uh, Cruise Automation technology is now uh, being added to the Chevy Bolt cars and this is how they are testing them. I believe in Manhattan, they've started to test them uh, pretty seriously a couple of months ago, but they have not launched it for the public right now. It's only for their employees. And I believe also in San Francisco, they have that service for their employees. Another impressive technology, and this one is acquisition. Uh, which is pretty cool because originally they were just kind of company providing hardware and software. And now that a GM bought it, it looks like it's going to be part of Chevy Bolt and other GM cars moving forward. So that's another exciting technology that have come a long way. And of course, this category would not be complete without the sort of a pioneer, really, uh, which is Tesla Model S, Model X, and now Model 3. They're all equipped with autopilot. It is uh, autopilot 2.5 right now, but as you can you can probably know it. it's very similar to the original Autopilot 1.0 that was developed uh, with the mobile eye technology where now Tesla has kind of left them um, kind of separated that with them and they uh, decided to develop their own. It's almost up to par with 1.0, but for the sake of this argument, we're just going to say it's pretty much the same. And that's what you would get if you would buy a, a, a Tesla right now uh, with the Autopilot as an option. So, these three nominees are uh, pretty impressive, I would say. I mean, if you would have th thought about it three years ago, that we would have cars driving themselves and turning the wheels and stopping. And I mean, I, I mean, this is a pretty interesting development in the world of technology. I know the world of technology moves fast, but and this is one of the most impressive things as far as how fast it has been developed that I've seen in a long time. And I hope you guys agree. All right, before I reveal the winner, I should remind you that this episode and the channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. I'm a customer myself. And you can also find a discount code for you guys in the description of this video, which is a little bit of a gift for myself to you for watching the show. All right. Let's reveal uh, the best self-driving technology of the year. And it is a Waymo. Um, yep. 
I, I think uh, this was also a, a sort of a, a, a runaway uh, nominee here because this is the only service uh, right now that is providing the transportation to the public with nobody sitting in the driver's seats. And, you know, there's just, there's just, just them right and yeah I, I gotta tell you it's 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 pretty impressive because google's projects uh, a lot of times when they die they really die and and this one was kind of you know uh, uh kicking and screaming uh, in the in, in its history it was ups and downs and it was just uh, it, it, it was you know at first they were using i believe alexa's cars and they were trying to develop their own car and uh, now they they went with uh, uh this uh, vans really and because um, this is kind of an Uber service without the driver that they have in Arizona testing in, a, I believe, a hundred mile um, radius uh, area. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure this is the most complicated terrain there, but nevertheless, they're doing it. And right now they're in front of everybody. And of course, you know, Tesla, uh, um, Tesla had a disappointing year. Uh, everybody kind of expected that maybe at the semi-truck unveiling, they would, uh, they would actually uh, get the newer version of autopilot software. The car's already equipped with hardware that's, that's uh, capable of autonomous driving, as you know, but the software hasn't caught up. As a matter of fact, the software, Tesla software, hasn't caught up to the original version that was designed by Mobileye uh, more than two years ago. And I have to say that has been kind of disappointment uh, for a lot of people. But we expect nothing but rest from Tesla. I'm sure they will be uh, releasing uh, more and more features with time and they will catch up. But for now, Waymo is uh, my winner. By the way, if you guys want to see the rest of the videos in this eWords uh, segment uh, category that I've uh, been doing uh, this at the end of this year, you can find the playlist in the description of this video. And for those of you guys who are Patreons, you get to see an extra episode, which you voted for, which is the sexiest electric car feature of the year. And it's available right now. If uh, you want to become a Patreon, please go ahead. And that link is also in the description of this video. Thank you so much for contributing. All right, guys, uh, that is pretty much it for me. I will uh, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.